artistry and artists. Welcome to part two of our painting slash coloring horse parts video. As you can see, we already have some horse parts colored on duck. That's from the first video. So if you want to either go back and watch that now, or uh, you can stay and watch this video and then go back later and watch the first part. Doesn't really matter what order you go in. Uh, but we are going to, in this video, work on slightly more advanced horse parts, okay? Some of them will still be pretty easy, um, but there are some that you might not know. So you might learn something new today. So again, I'm going to use my whiteboard and I'll write out the horse part so you know how to spell it because some of them are a little tricky to spell. Um, and then I'll paint them on duck and you can color them on a coloring sheet of a horse at home. Uh, you can either use the same coloring sheet you used for the first video or you can get a new one, whatever floats your boat, I don't care. Um, but if you use the same one, then by the end of all three videos, you'll have a pretty colored in horse. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Okie doke. So, our first horse part that we're gonna do today, today we're kind of working from the front of our horse to the back is how we're gonna do with these horse parts in this video. So the first one we're going to do is the forelock, and it's spelled F-O-R-E-L-O-C-K, forelock, okay? So the forelock is the piece of hair right on her forehead, okay? I didn't do any horse parts on her face because I didn't want to paint on her face, um, but her hair that sits on her face, I thought we could do that. So. We're gonna, for our video, you can use whatever colors you want, but for me, I'm gonna use dark blue to do her forelock, okay? Let me get that ready. Get my paintbrush that's already all blue. Oh, again, I might need another hand. So I'm gonna get some blue on my brush. Eh, try not to make a mess. All right, back to my blue forelock. And I might do this so I don't paint on her. Yeah, I'm going to use my hand again. There we go, a little bit more. You're probably not going to get as messy as me with your crayons and colored pencils. Maybe if you use markers, but don't try to get as messy as me. I don't need parents coming after me. got a dark blue forelock now. I did give her a little bit of hay, so hopefully she'll stand still. But she was a little wiggly in the last video, so we'll see how well she stands this time. Maybe she'll get more patient as we go. Maybe not, she's only six. Patience is not for strong suits. Okay. Our next horse part we're gonna learn is crest. You spell it just like the toothpaste. So C, R E S T Crest. Alright, so for our crest, I'm gonna use pink. Now the crest is you can't see it right now because her mane's in the way. <laughs> so I'm gonna go move her mane. But the crest is the very top part of her neck. So it's right where her mane is growing out of. And it goes all along here, that's the crest. And if you've like taken your science class and you've learned about sound waves and light waves, and the crest of the wave is the very top of the wave. So it's the same thing here. So it's just the very top of her neck. Okay, so I'm gonna use some paint. That mane is in the way. So we're just gonna paint her crest. are a little bit overweight. Um, they'll store a lot of fat right here on their crest and that's called a horse being crusty is what we would call that. And that's how you know that maybe they need to, we need to watch a little bit more what we're feeding them so that way they can stay healthy. But your crest looks great. There we go. So there's her crest. I am going to flip this back over. 
just so she doesn't do it for me. But there we go. There's her crest in pink. And again, I'm only painting on this side of duck. One, to save time, and two, because I don't think she has the patience for me to paint all of her. So we're just going to try and go quickly as fast as we can, but still be thorough and have fun. All right, our next horse part is her shoulder. So let's just spell it just like we do on humans. So S-H-O-U-L-D-E-R, shoulder. Okay, so our shoulders on humans are here, right? And they're pretty small compared to our body. Horses, on the other hand, have really big shoulders, which helps them have big strides and long strides. So we have a lot to color with her shoulder, so I'm going to use the big can of orange paint, and we're going to do it in orange. All right, ready? Ready for your shoulder? Okay, so duck shoulder kind of starts right here at the base of her neck. So this, let see if I can find her shoulder blade. There we go. So right here where my finger is, that's the, the kind of spine of her shoulder blade. And her shoulder blade starts up here and goes all the way down here. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this kind of this whole section for her shoulder. Okay? There we go. I'm going to make a little line right here. Oops. Oh no. This piece of mane is all sorts of colors, so it's okay. So her shoulder blade is kind of shaped like that. She's got a like a curvy part at this end and a more pointy part at this end. So we're visualizing bones at this point. Okay, all right, so here's her shoulder. I'm gonna make it all orange and beautiful. Here we go. She thinks the paint kind of smells funny, so every so often she'll stop and sniff. Like, hmm, I smell weird. You smell great. Okay. You are so beautiful. Now, like I mentioned in the first video, we are using safe, non-toxic paint, so it's not hurting duck to get painted. She's just not too sure about it. She's never been, she's been painted a little bit before, but not this much. This is a lot, huh, duck? A lot of paint going on here. All right, there's a beautiful orange shoulder blade. We're just gonna call it shoulder blade. All right, so there's her shoulder. Me, I smell food. Someone's cooking around here. Yum. Okay. Alright, are we ready for our next horse part? So our next horse part is called the heart girth. So that's two words. Heart, just like your heart. H-E-A-R-T. Oh, that's a terrible A. Heart. And then girth is G-I-R-T-H. Heart girth. Siren. Sorry. Okay, so it's just like it sounds, heart girth. So to find the heart girth, and I'm gonna do the heart girth in red because it's where the heart is. So that makes sense, right? That was my logic anyways. All right, so for her heart girth, that is this stripe that's white right now. Because one, when you put a saddle on, that's where your girth goes, right? And her heart, lives on the other side of her body but in this cavity that's where her heart is too okay it's more on her left side of her body but so this whole thing that kind of wraps all the way around her is her heart girth so that's what we're going to color right here this is the brush that doesn't quite fit in the thing but we're going to all right so our heart girth the withers that we learned in the last video because the heart girth does technically go all the way around her body like a belt. And hopefully the red and the pink don't look too similar so that you can distinguish in your drawing which one is which. Or your coloring, not your drawing. I mean 
That'd be cool if you drew a picture too to go with it, but apparently don't have to be color. Alright. I'm not trying to color too much under her belly just because you can't see it anyway, so there's no point. Alright, let's get some of these crusty drops of right here. It's kinda hairy. Ooh. That's okay. She's shedding, it's springtime. Okay. Done with our heart. Okie doke. Next up is another horse horse part, but that's also a people part that you know. Uh, it's elbow. So that's E L B O W. Elbow. And so this is where horses look a little bit different than people. So we have our shoulder that we colored on duck, right? And then we have our arm bone and then down to our elbow. So that's pretty long, right? So for her, her shoulder is really long. And then this part of her body is really short. And then we get to her elbow. So I'll show you. We're going to do her elbow in purple. Because why not? So here's her shoulder that we learned. And then her humerus bone right here is really short. It only goes really from here down to here. And then her elbow is back here. That's funny, huh? So we're just gonna I'm gonna have to hold it. Oh. And we're just gonna make a little bit of a bleep here on her elbow. And I was sleeping. She just picked up her leg, how it poked out. Let me see if I can pick up her foot for you. There we go. So see how it pokes out right here? So that's her elbow. Now it looks more like an elbow, right? Alright. There's her elbow. Put that purple away. Alright, next we're going to do a part on the leg. And in video number three, we're going to do a lot of parts on the leg. But the leg horse parts are kind of hard to distinguish from each other, so that's why they're in the more advanced video. Uh, but for right now, we're going to learn cannon bone. And it's spelled just like, like, a, can like a boom cannon. So C-A-N-N-O-N, -N -N and then bone. C-O-N-E. Cannon bone. Some people just call it the cannon, which is fine, uh, but to be more precise, it would be the cannon bone. So we're going to do the cannon bone in yellow. So grab my yellow here. So all horses have a cannon bone on all four of their legs, but again, we're just going to do this side. So I'll do her front and her back leg, her cannon bone, okay? So the cannon bone, I'll show you before I paint, is down here on the front of her leg, okay? So it's kind of in between these two joints, this long straight part right here. And you can pretty much feel right on the bone. So there's just a little bit of uh, tissue and skin on top, but it's mostly just the bone right there. Which is why some horses get wraps or boots put on their legs to protect that bone since there isn't a whole lot of muscle there to protect it. Alright, so we're going to get some yellow. I'm going to stay safe by staying on my feet, not kneeling or sitting down. I'm just going to paint her cannon bone here. And the cannon bone is a round bone, but it only goes to about halfway on her leg here. It doesn't go all the way back. These are tendons back here, um, so we're not even we're not going to paint all the way back there. We're just going to paint where the bone is. So just right there, about halfway, and then along the front of her leg. Okay, just like that. So that's her cannon bone. And same thing on the back leg here. Now it's a little bit longer on this back leg. You can see it goes from here all the way down to here. And that one wasn't as long. And that's usually pretty typical. Their back leg, uh, the cannon bone is just a little bit longer. Same thing back here. Just about halfway on the width of her leg is where the cannon bone is.
you can see all four of your horse's legs on your coloring page, you can go ahead and color all four cannon bones if you want to. Uh, I'm just trying to save time. <laughs> okay, two more left for this video. All right, so our next one, this could take a while, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the next one we're going to do is hind quarters. Okay, so that's spelled H I N D Q U A R T E R S. Hind quarters. That's a lot of letters, huh? You need to see it again? That one's a little tricky to spell. So her hindquarters are basically her rump, okay? So this might take a lot of paint. We'll see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint around her rump a little bit. So that way we can see where it goes. But I'm not going to be super thorough about filling it in, okay? And we are going to put some more horse parts by her hindquarters in the third video too. So I'm not going to go all the way and paint all of her hindquarters. So these are her hindquarters. Starts about here where her back ends and goes all the way back and includes her rump and all these muscles and stuff down here. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and just So this is what I mean. We're just gonna do like little stripes, kind of like I did on her barrel. So you can see it so long. Not trying to waste all of your day. Hello. This is a good way to spend your day, huh? Coloring, learning about horses. I'd say that's a pretty good day. light blue on her rump. Just in case I didn't tell you that, I don't think I did. I got excited. Alright, light blue rump. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. That can put yours down a little low, but that's okay. Alright. Then we just have one more for this video. Okay. So our last one is going to be the hip. So that was easy to spell. H I P. Easy peasy. So I bet some of you know where the horse's hips are. So our hips are right here, right? Horses' hips are kind of in their hind quarter area, so we're gonna have to color on top of the blue. Alright, my I'm gonna color it green. hindquarter area, right, thank you, right here, so it's kind of the farthest point that sticks out this way, that's her hip. And when you have an actual horse, you can feel it, you can feel the hip bone, um, it kind of sticks out a little bit right here, but since you guys are at home and have your horse's picture, you're just going to have to guesstimate where it is, um, but it's kind of a little bit ways down, not all the way at the top kind of right about here. I'm going to draw a little circle or an oval, I guess. It's not super round. Right here. And I'm going to color it in. And that's her hip. Of 
other side too, but again, you can't see that side. You probably can only see one on your drawing, um, so that's okay. All right, so there we go. She's getting so colorful and beautiful. Get this green away. Oops. Okay, everybody. So just to review, we're gonna go through our horse colors. So our forelock, well not our forelock, Duck's forelock is right here on the front of her head. It's this long hair that sits on her forehead. And we colored that dark blue. The next one we did was crest and it's a little bit hidden. It's here under her mane. So it's the very top part of her neck, right? So we colored that pink. For her shoulder, we colored that orange and that's this big area right here. For her heart girth, that's this big stripe that goes all the way around her body and it's, we colored it red. Her elbow, we colored purple and it's this little section right at the top of her front leg. Um, and if you pick up her leg, you can see it bend out like an elbow. Her cannon bone is what we did next. And remember, all horses have four cannon bones, um, but we just did two. So we did the front leg and the back leg, and we did those yellow. And then the hind quarters, we did in this light blue, and it's this whole section right here. That's her hind quarter. And then the last one we did was hip, and we colored that green. It's this little circle right here, and she has one on the other side too. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed that. And tune in for our third video um, for a few more advanced horse parts. We're going to do a lot of horse parts on the legs in that video, okay? All right, well, have a good day. See you guys.